Today, I'm gonna share with you one of my all-time favorite investing concepts. It's called the Rule of 72. And I'm telling you, kapag naintendihan mo to, your life will never be the same again and you would want to start investing. Sabi nga ni Tito Albert Einstein, <laughs> Compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world and he who learns it, earns it. He who doesn't, pays it. So today, yun na, pag-uusapan natin yung compounding interest, but the simplified version, don't worry. So it's called the rule of 72 and we're gonna learn paano ba tayo kumikita kapag nag invest How does money work whenever we're investing? Paano siya dumudumle, okay? So it says in the rule of 72, if you divide the number 72 by the annual interest rate, kung saan nakalagay yung pera mo, it will give you the number of years to double your Money. Let's take Andrea as an example. She's a 27 year old. Meron siyang 100,000 pesos na savings. So, kung nakalagay lang yun sa savings account niya, at kumikita yung savings account niya ng 0.25% per year, may tax pa yun. So, 72 divided by 0.2, it's equal to, are you ready for this? 360 years. I repeat. 360 years. So, ano na? <laughs> Masaya, guys, diba? Masaya. Masaya niya. So, pagdating niya ng 387, tsaka palang naging 200,000 yung 100,000 niya. So, walang point. Kirain na lang yun ng inflation. So, paano kung nasa time deposit naman? So, let's say 72 divided by 1%. So, 72 divided by 1 is equal to 72 years. So, 99 years old na siya, meron na siyang 200,000. Sobrang lit. Medyo wala na ding sense. Diba? So, that's why we need to look for other investment instruments kung saan pwedeng mas mag-grow pa yung pera natin. And today, I'm gonna share with you about mutual funds and the stock market. So, sa mutual funds and stocks, you can earn at an average rate of 12% per annum. Average shows. So pwedeng mas mataas, pwedeng mas mababa. So, 72 divided by 12 is equal to 6 years. Ibig sabihin, every 6 years, pwedeng tumobla yung pera ni Andrea. So, kung 27 siya, after 6 years, 33 na siya, meron na siyang 200,000. After another 6 years, 39 years old na siya, meron na siyang 400,000. So, dumodobla yung pera. After another 6 years, yung 400,000 niya becomes 800,000. 45 years old na siya by then. So, in more or less 18 years, Meron na siyang around 800,000 pesos. Now, let's have a more specific example. Yung talagang sa stocks and sa mutual funds na. So, I'll take Jollibee as an example. Jollibee had its initial public offering in 1997. So, nag-start sila at 27 pesos per share. So, kung baga, binenta na yung corporation na inopen na sa public, anyone can invest in their corporation. And each share costs around 27 pesos. So, kung may 100,000 si Andrea during that time, 20, so 100,000 divided by 27 pesos per share, meron siyang more or less 3,703 shares. And in 2017, Jollibee already grew to around 280 pesos per share. So, kung ibenta niya yung 3,703 sh shares niya at 280 pesos per share, yung value ng 100,000 niya would already become 1,036,840 pesos. So, do you remember my example kanina? Yung sa rule of 72 na every 6 years it doubles, yung 100,000 niya, the Andrea become, could become 800,000 in more or less 18 years. So, if you take Jollibee as an example, in 1997 at 27 pesos per share, and then benta mo ng 2017 at 280 pesos per share, Nakita niyo yung similarities? 800,000, 1 million in 20 years. So, totoo ba yung average of 12%? Yup! Posible talaga siya. So, I'll, I'll give you another example. Mutual funds naman. So, Phil Equity Funding. Phil Equity offered in 1997 at 1.1 peso per share. So, kung may 100,000 si Andrea and invest niya, more or less, that's 100,000 shares. In 2017, Phil Equity also grew to at around 40 pesos per share. So, are you with me? Ako, compute nyo ba sa isip nyo? Kung binenta niya yung 100,000 shares niya last year at 40 pesos per share, 100,000 times 40, how much is that? That's 4 million pesos. So, hindi lang siya nag-grow at 12% per annum. So, posible ba talaga na mag-grow yung pera natin sa so, mutual funds stocks? 
Yes, and the key is time. Hindi siya sa timing. So, hindi siya, ay, pangit. Pag-invest, bagsak, ganyan. So, if you give it some time and if you just leave your money there, tuloy-tuloy lang siyang mag-grow. If you think about it, marami nang pinagdaanin na crisis yun. Pero saan ba yun papunta? Pataas din naman. And if you understand more about the fundamentals and paano nag-work yung mutual funds, mas ma-appreciate nyo yung importance talaga na and kagandahan ng pag invest In summary, okay lang naman if meron kang savings account if, and if iwan mo yung pair mo doon. If short term lang, like emergency funds or savings. Pero if ang pinag-uusapan natin is retirement, then definitely you would need to invest your money so you can make it grow. Hindi pwedeng patulugin mo lang yan at hayaan mong kainan ng inflation. So, if you think this is a helpful video, I'm gonna need to ask for your help. I want you to share this to at least five of your friends, tag them, and share with them about the importance of investing. Sabi mo, invest na tayo! Tapos tag mo yung five friends mo. And I also want to invite you this coming Wednesday, we're actually going to have a talk about mutual fund investing, about the basics of it. So I'm inviting you, it's a free event, and it will be hosted by the Investing Millennials Group and Ramp Ver Financial. So I hope you can join us. It's for free. You have this opportunity to learn more about investing. So I hope you learned something new today. And if it isn't too much to ask, again, please share this to your friends and your family. Thank you for supporting again. This is Shai reminding you to keep on learning, keep on growing. Thanks and see ya!